here we are for the last part of our cat. We're going to do the tail and all the little details. So there should be a wire in your kit and we are at step 34 so you'll get that cord ready. Um, and then step 40 is placing this onto one of the square knots here above the hind feet. We're just going to attach that on, make an all loop. There we go. And then we're going to take and attach this um, cord as well into that space. So now we're going to use this wire as the filler and we're going to do that square knot sign up which was like we did the legs and it's just a bunch of square knots in a row and then I'm just going to make it the length I want it however many works for you. So my cord's going to go behind my wire here. It's going to go over this one. So I'm going to make it cross here. I'm going to take my cord from that side. Oh. Yeah. Take my cord from this side. Put it in. And pull that tight. And then I do my reverse side of my square knot, like so. And I'll just keep going till I get a tail length I want. So I've reached a pretty good length on this tail. So when you think you've got to a point that you like it, you'll just take and trim your wire. Kind of hide that back in there. And then trim your string. Since it's a knot, it should stay. And then you can shape your tail any way you want since you have that nice wire in there to help with that. Now on to our details. We'll do our whiskers. I've got just some of the scraps. I'm gonna actually cut this in half so I can do both sides. And I'm gonna take the yarn needle, thread it on there, and just put it in on the sides here. And pull it through and trim them to a good length. There we go. And I'm actually just taking from those scraps and I do the other side. And 
and trim this. And then I'm gonna fray them. Okay, now that we have our whiskers done, I'm gonna draw on my cat's eyes. with the Sharpie. And then one final step. We'll take just some scrap yarn that we have, and ball it up, and then take the end and your yarn needle Feed it through right under the nose in the mouth area. And there we have it, our macrame cat. If you have any questions, you can always contact us here at the library. The information will be in the description. And you can borrow the book that we have so that you can do this pattern as well if you weren't one of the people who got the kits. Okay, good luck. Thanks for watching.